Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor for those of you who have never been here before and today we are talking about things that annoy you about The Sims 4. A few days ago I asked on my community tab what you guys find really annoying about the game. Little things like Sims deciding to wash their dishes upstairs instead of in the kitchen when they're standing in the dining room. Ridiculous. But just the little stuff that really really irritates you that you hate about The Sims 4. And you guys came through with like a couple hundred comments and I'm very excited about that because it makes these videos so so fun to make and I'm really excited to talk about it all. But before we jump in, I would just ask if you enjoyed this video at any point, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you should make sure to do that down below as well. So let's jump into over 50 things that annoy you about The Sims 4. The first one we have says, when my sim constantly forgets what I ask them to do if more than one thing is being cued, I feel like I have to ask them at least twice to do anything. Honestly, yeah, I totally feel you on that one. Everything that The Sims does is so irritating because like you can have a whole list of things you're like okay you're gonna wake up you're gonna use a toilet you're gonna take a shower you're gonna go eat and then like halfway through going pee they're like no i'm not gonna do any of those things i'm just gonna stand here with my arms out and stare in the mirror for no reason for the next hour before school and i'm not gonna notice while i'm playing because i'm focusing on all of their siblings because i think they're taken care of smarter sims was how they advertise the sims 4 we're gonna find out today that that's not the case alexa said when there is a celebrity at every single place i go to when toddlers get upset because their parents went to work and in city living how your neighbors being loud can wake you up honestly feel you on all of those there were a lot of comments about especially judith ward and how she's everywhere We'll get into that one. Toddlers are just annoying. Like, don't get sad because your parents go to work. They go to work every day. Get used to it. It's the rest of your life. Honestly, it drives me up the wall. And there are some times when I'm like, okay, can my neighbors just stop woohooing in the next room? Like, literally, the hearts will come off. Like, when they're having a party, I'm like, okay, you're having a party. It's fine. But anytime that the hearts are coming off a neighbor's door in city living, I'm like, I know what you're doing in there. And you're being too loud. Chill out. Casey said, I really hate how clean and perfect the Sims houses are. I want to have to clean counters, make beds. I wish the dishes could stack up in the sink. I wish you had to physically move your garbage slash recycling to the curb on a set day or it could pile up on your lot. I 100% agree with this. In past games, even in The Sims 1, you had to make your Sims beds if you wanted your house to look orderly and you wanted to not be like annoyed by how messy your house was. Honestly, I've been playing The Sims 1 a little bit lately and that game was so chaotic and everything got so dirty so fast. I just wish that like other than bust the dust, your house just got more filthy and you had to like clean your windows. And like, I wish that we still had that environment need that Sims used to have where like if things were dirty, it bothered them and like messy things on the floor would bother them. And like, of course we can get moodlets from it now, but it's just not the same. I wish that it kind of affected your Sims more if they were in dirty surroundings. And honestly, bust the dust is like too much. I think that it needs to be like a slower buildup of everything and not just dust on the floor and dust bunnies. Cause like I'm playing The Sims 4 Cottage Living Let's Play. And honestly, there's like a new dust bunny in our home every single day. And I've started getting Autumn to just like vacuum the second she wakes up every day and the dust bunnies still appear by the end of the day and it's like okay if you vacuum every day you're not gonna have dust bunnies in your home so like bust the dust took it too far but i would like to see other things implemented where you have to clean like even like cleaning like under your fridge once in a while or like maybe a little monster will start to come out that would be really cute our next comment says the autonomous prank toilets just need to be removed from the game entirely i'm so tired of my sims pranking their own freaking toilet and then getting mad when it's broken this is one of those things that it's like, okay, you're cute the first time it happens, but if a Sim's gonna break their toilet every other day, it's just like, can you chill? Can you just like not? Can we like have a conversation about this where you don't decide to break your own toilet and then have to pee on yourself because you couldn't get to a bathroom because you broke the toilet? Don't get mad at me because you're peeing on the floor. Bailey said, if there's not a garbage can on the current floor you're on, Sims will just give up and throw it back on the ground, even if there's other garbage cans on other floors. Not realistic at all. There's definitely a lot of issues in this game where like, if you have a two-story home, Sims are just a little bit stupider. They seem like they can't figure out like how to get up and down stairs and use the right sinks and throw garbage away in the proper way or put things away that would make sense. Like they're, these Sims are just kind of dumb and like, I mean that with all of the love in my heart. I love this game. We all know that I love this game, but honestly, The Sims and The Sims 4 are very stupid. Uh, if you could just figure out like where to throw away your trash, it would be really great. <laughs> the next comment says, what bothers me the most is the issue that at least in my game, Sims don't really dance together when you use that command. Also, if a couple is on a date, the fact that a third person can join the conversation without my consent really bothers me. I really hope that we get some kind of romance update or romance pack or something. I really miss the slow dance interactions from past games where you would literally have your sims like intertwined together slow dancing and it was so cute and you could like have them kiss or like move their hands lower or like put your head on their shoulder. Like there was so many cute little interactions 
with dancing back in the day and it just made me so happy and honestly the date thing like I feel that so hard because every time I'm like okay I'm gonna get my sim to go out into the world and flirt with another sim it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be wonderful however like Judith Ward or Don Lothario is gonna come up and just join our conversation halfway through and it's like homie leave please just no I don't want you here I'm trying to have a moment let me flirt let me go die for some thrills without you trying to you know butt in it's not cool not cool guys Angelica said the fact that you can't put fences on the outer corners of a lot, they always have to be one tile in. This has been an issue for a long time where you can't build on that outside tile. I wish you were able to. Like even if it wasn't just houses and you could just put fences on that outer tile, it would completely change the way lots look. Especially because sometimes there's like a path next to your lot so then you have like a random little grass patch and then your fence and that ends up looking pretty weird. It's bothered me for literally like a decade that you can't build that close to the, the edge of the lot. It's one of those things. I don't think we're ever going to change that. Sarah said, when toddlers after they finished eating, instead of putting the plate down on the table that is right in front of them, we'll put it on a table that is even further away from where they are. We all know toddlers in this game are cute, but we never said that they were smart. Honestly, toddlers and honestly Sims in general end up putting their plates in the weirdest places. Like, okay, my toddler sitting on a couch eating their dinner. Coffee table? Okay. No, we're not going to put it there. Side table beside the couch? No, we're not going to put it there. Okay. Dining table that you pass? Not going to put it there but you're gonna go bring it into your brother's bedroom and put it on their bedside table and leave it there? Like, really? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? And then they get so annoyed that the house is messy and it's like, you guys messed it up, this is your fault. The next comment says, when you're playing in an eight sim household and it starts to make the picture smaller. I don't know why it annoys me this much, but it does. And if you don't know what they're referring to is the little images that you click on to change which sim you're currently controlling. They start off like pretty big and then as you add more sims, they just get like really, really tiny. So if you're in an eight sim household and they, they're just so small and honestly, I never really thought about the fact that it bothers me, but it does because they're just small. And if you're playing on a smaller screen, like on a laptop or something and they're that, oh, that would bother me so much. Thankfully, I have like bigger screens at this point. So it doesn't get too tiny for me, but I can see how that would be really annoying if you're playing on a smaller desktop screen or on a laptop. Matthew said, the Sims that constantly walk into your house for no reason. Yeah, but has anyone noticed that this is way worse now with cottage living? I was in a house that was like in the town center Finchwick area, I think it's what it's called, one of the lots, and I was living there. And then one day all of the town just came over all at once for no reason. Like all of them just showed up and walked into my home. And I'm like, excuse me, uh, number one, you don't live here. Number two, I'm currently in the process of trying to steal Thomas from his wife. Number three, he doesn't want to let me steal him from his wife and he keeps rejecting me. And now that you're all here, he's embarrassed because his wife's now in my home. And I was just like, what are you all doing here? Can you please go home? And it bothers me so much. Like stop coming into my home. Stop inviting yourself over. I don't want this many randoms to come over all the time. Another one that really annoys me is if something's broken in my house, I do not need Tina Tinker from Eco Lifestyle to walk, come to my house, knock on my door and be like, oh, do I hear something sizzling in there? Let me come fix it. Like, thanks for your help, but you're annoying me. Go away. Our next comment says, when teens sims think back to their happy toddlers days have a diaper and a thought bubble and don't get the mood lit so until you find out it's because of the happy toddler trait you sit there wondering why your siblingless teenager thinks about diapers <laughs> this is pretty funny you could honestly probably like work it into your gameplay too and be like oh uh, mom can you make another baby or i'm gonna immediately have a baby when i'm a young adult and like act like they're thinking about it because maybe they want to be a parent or maybe they're thinking about how they don't want to be a parent but really, they're just thinking about the fact that, like, they grew up well. But, like, why would you be thinking about that? Like, I'm not sitting here as a teenager. Well, I'm no longer a teenager. It's been a decade. Um, but I wasn't sitting there as a teenager being like, hmm, I had a really happy toddlerhood. It's not something you think about. That's a weird one. The next one we have says, the lag that occurs whenever a sim decides to chat with your sim and you cancel this interaction in the queue. If the offending sim is located halfway across town from your sim, you have to wait until they're two feet apart before the action cancels, and by then you've wasted an entire afternoon in sim time. Even worse, if you ask your sim to go downstairs and some other sim decides that they have something very important to tell them at that exact same moment, your sim and the offending sim will have to walk all the way back up the stairs and to the starting point before the action is canceled. As, I'm, as I've said, the sims in this game are not smarter. Honestly, I wanna cancel like interactions all the time and get things out of the queue. And a lot of the time they just decide to do them anyway, or they like just get completely frozen and you have to reset them, which is so annoying. And then I don't have testing cheats on, so then I can't reset them, so I have to turn on the cheat. It's just so irritating. And I just like, mm, the amount of times where I'm like canceling an interaction and then they're just standing there with their arms out and they're just staring at me. And I'm like, this game, this game needs a lot of help.
The next comment comes from the Cookie Girl Gamer and they said, I get annoyed when there's a Sim walking outside my Sim's house and you want to talk to them and your Sim is painting or watching TV and you cancel the action and it takes two Sim hours to cancel it and your Sim just stands there so if the people are gone by the time you get there. One thing that sucks about like no longer having an open world is you can't really like chase Sims down. Like in The Sims 3, if a Sim left your lot and like left the neighborhood, you could still find them pretty easily if you, this happened, but now it's like, okay, if they leave this neighborhood, you're not gonna be able to just like chase them down the street. It doesn't really work like that. And Sims are kind of too dumb to figure it out anyway. And it's just so annoying. Honestly, it seems like a lot of you have issues with canceling interactions and that just being a big pain. And I wish that it wasn't because sometimes you just don't want Sims to do things that they're trying to do, especially if you have autonomy turned on. It's like, what are you even doing? Why are you trying to walk that way? Why are you trying to go paint a picture when you're supposed to be taking care of your kid? I really want you to go flirt with this man on the street. Can you go do that instead of going to take a bath? Like figure your life out. Our next comment says, I just hate it when my Sim finishes cooking a meal, takes a plate, starts walking towards the dining room, but walks past the dining room table to eat outside on the deck table and chairs in the winter. Once again, Sims aren't smart in The Sims 4, even though they advertise them to be, they are really dumb. They wanna go sit outside in their t-shirt and shorts and freeze to death. Honestly, sometimes I think that Sims just have a death wish and I wouldn't be surprised if that was true, if like their whole lives are just like, I wanna make these people so angry that they want to get rid of me. But honestly, think about it. A lot of the time you're so angry at your Sims that you kill them because they're annoying you. Maybe they just have a death wish and they want to freeze to death while they eat dinner. Our next comment comes from Zoe and says, I hate when my Sims eat standing up instead of sitting at the table right there. Sometimes I want family dinner screenshots. Yeah, <laughs> if they're not gonna like not sit at the dining table, they're gonna go outside and eat and freeze to death or they're gonna go sit at the coffee table. Sometimes Sims will literally... The thing that annoys me the most is when a Sim carries their meal up the stairs and goes and sits on their bed to eat dinner. Or when I was doing the 100 baby challenge, I had this big, beautiful coffee table, not coffee table, dining table. That's what I meant to say. I had this big, beautiful dining table and Sims would just ignore that and go sit on a toddler's bed while they were sleeping to eat their dinner. Like, what are you doing? Why can't you just eat and enjoy a meal together? Our next comment says, when Sims complain about there being a mess. So you look and look only to find that they put dirty plates on a random shelf next to the sink. This is exactly why I don't leave any shelves empty. I clutter up every single shelf to the point where there is no space. Another place they like to put it is on top of fireplaces. That just, stop it. Stop leaving dirty plates everywhere and then you wouldn't have a messy home and you'd be happier. <laughs> like happier Sims because you're just clean. Don't be dirty, stop that. Our next comment says, when Sims sit on the couch to watch a movie with other Sims and end up talking the whole way through and then have the cheek to say it's boring. Okay, I feel like I'm an offender of this because I can't really watch movies. I get kind of bored and like they're too long so I end up talking and it's really annoying and I apologize to anyone who's ever watched a movie with me I'm sorry but like in the sims they should like they can do a little bit of chatting but the fact that they sit there and they just talk to each other the entire time and instead of watching the movie and then they get like honestly they have the audacity to be like this movie was boring and it's like did you watch the movie did you watch even one minute of this movie? You did not. I don't care if you don't like the genre. I don't care if you didn't like the movie, but if you were watching the movie, maybe you would have had a better time. Stop that. Our next comment says, my biggest pet peeve is strangers just coming up and talking to my Sims. Like I'd be on a date doing romantic things and then a child comes up and starts talking to us and making the whole conversation awkward. Or when my kids club is doing homework in the park and some random elder comes up and talks to them and now they're all in the relationship tab. I don't know, it just irks me. I feel that. I 100% definitely feel that one. It's like, <laughs> I don't want random Sims in my Sims relationship panel because it's like, I don't actually know you. I've spoken to you for two seconds at the like Magnolia Blossom Park or at r some random event that I went to. You know, you go to the Finchwick Fair, someone starts talking to you and now they're in your relationship panel, but you, you never actually cared to speak to them or you're paying attention to other Sims and then that Sim just starts chatting with somebody and it's like, you were never part of my plan, stop that. <laughs> Drives me crazy. But the fact that like an elder would walk up to a group of kids who were doing their homework and be like, hi children, like stay away. Stay away, they probably have a white van filled with candy. Do not speak to them. Our next comment comes from Granny Goose. That's a fun username. If my Sim is in desperate need of a pee and it's the next thing in their task list, I don't dare add any activity to the task list because my Sim will st will stop peeing to do the new activity and will likely pee themselves while doing it. Then I scream at my Sims that they are an idiot. This is one of the big reasons why anytime my Sim is not doing something actively, I'm like, okay, you're gonna go to the bathroom. You're gonna wake up. Okay, you don't actually have to pee, but you're gonna use the toilet to take a shower because I don't want you to pee your pants at any point throughout the day. Please just don't pee your pants because it drives me crazy. When they really have to pee, they just start moving slowly and they start being stupid and then they pee their pants while they're doing something else because they won't go to the bathroom. Sims are dumb. 
that's, I think that's the moral of this video is that Sims are dumb. They were advertised to be smarter in The Sims 4 and that is a freaking lie. Aaron said, I hate when Sims who are enemies with full red bars are very chatty and friendly with each other after a fight. This is one of those things where it's like, The Sims 4 has no consequences. Obviously we now have sentiments, but sentiments don't affect your Sims a whole heck of a lot. They're not gonna just like autonomously walk up to somebody and start slapping them most of the time. And it's like, oh, I just miss the old days when like if a Sim cheated on a Sim, they would like hate each other and not wanna be in the same room and just fight all the time. And it just brings me back to like the pleasant family in The Sims 2, chef's kiss. Cause she would get caught, he, or Daniel would get caught cheating and it would just cause a lot of drama in the world and I loved that. But like, you can have Sims like cheat on each other, get into an actual fist fight. And then if they don't like move out or break up in that moment, the Sims are still in the same house. Five minutes later, they're just like chatting about the weather. And it's like, stop. Our next comment says, at a wedding, you can't force the guests to sit and actually watch. Yeah, that's something that I honestly bothers everybody. Or the fact that my Sim in my 100 baby game will stay in her hospital gown, but even when I change, she will change back into it. That second one's really funny because the hospital gowns are like objectively ugly. <laughs> when you go to the hospital, if you have, I believe you have to have get to work to bring your Sims to the hospital to give birth. But when they go in those hospital gowns, it's like, you look ridiculous. And then you go home in the hospital gown instead of changing back into your regular clothes. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, why, why is this something you would choose to wear for fun? Like, are you okay? Are you okay? I don't think so. I think the answer to that question, if you ask your Sims, is no. Carissa said, when Sims won't sit down to watch TV on the couch, but will stand directly behind it. Honestly, a lot of the time I just wanna have like my little Sims families like sit in chairs and couches and watch a movie together. And for whatever reason, one Sim will sit on the couch and the other Sims are like, oh, that person's stinky. I'm gonna go stand back here and just stand and watch TV. And it's like, do I really have to click to make you go and sit down? Like, why is this a thing I have to do? I shouldn't have to do that. Our next comment comes from Lucy who said, toddlers destroying their dollhouses and then crying because someone destroyed the dollhouse. Such a small thing that sends me into a homicidal rage every time. I got a lot of comments about this and I got comments a lot about people, kids and toddlers painting on the floor and how annoying it is. And honestly, I kind of like that toddlers are annoying. <laughs> it's like, I don't want my game to be easy. I want there to be consequences. If this kid is going to go and destroy their dollhouse, they deserve to be angry about it. They shouldn't be angry that someone destroyed the dollhouse. They should be like, mm, why did I destroy the dollhouse? I'm stupid because Sims are stupid. But <laughs> I honestly kind of like when they destroy it. I just wish that they didn't like blame it on somebody else and then like get upset that it's broken when they were the one that broke it. Avery said, when there's a new baby in the house and everyone tries to meet their new sibling and then they're sad because they didn't want that sibling. Honestly, this happens like more often than I think is good. Like, I don't think that every single kid in the entire world thinks badly about their new siblings. I feel like a lot of them would be like, yay, new sibling, not be like, I hate you, get out of my life. And they get like angry moodlets and sad moodlets from getting a new sibling when that should be like, some of them should get excited about it, about having a new sibling. Cause it's like, oh, more people to play with, but they just get annoyed. And it just makes me sad. Cause like, Sometimes I really want there to be a new baby and I want there to be more people in the home. And it's like, you don't want them? Why don't you want them? Why don't you love them? And then I like get too attached and I start to cry. That's that's more of a me problem. <laughs> Molly said, something that bothers me is when my Sim gets sad when one of their family members they didn't even know passes away. If you have ever played the 100 baby challenge, you know how annoying this is because once you get to a certain point where you have a bunch of kids, like your kids are gonna start dying. So then like technically your new baby's siblings are dying, but they've probably never met their siblings who are like elders at this point because th it's been going on forever. And then they get really sad. So I can't play 100 baby without UI cheats because I can just click away those moodlets. I can't deal with the fact that, that like that happens. Don't get sad about someone you've never met. At least not for two days, like stop it. The only person in that household that should be sad is the mom. So our next comment is talking about the food stalls that you see around the world, especially in city living. I get my sim to buy something from there and if they don't get it in time, some random townie just ups and takes it. Like you didn't even pay for that, now I have to delete you. I really enjoy the fact that when you guys get annoyed with your sims, you all just wanna kill them just like I do. <laughs> but like, but honestly, if you order something, then the person who's making it or like at the food stall will just put it on like their little counter and then your sim could like be talking to somebody and not take it and a random townie just swoops in and steals it. And it's like, excuse me, I paid the $9 for that hamburger, please give it back. And then they're like already halfway done eating it. And then if you're doing a rags to riches, it's even worse because you don't have the money to buy another one. Oh, this game, this game just gets me sometimes, makes me mad and I wanna, wanna beat it up. Our next comment says, when a sim is constantly uncomfortable because of some unknown stench and then days later you find the source is a dirty plate in their inventory, not the toddler they share a room with. 
I keep finding dirty laundry anytime I have like laundry in my home. I find dirty laundry, piles of dirty food and dirty plates in my Sims inventory and like spoiled food all the time. And it's like, why are you putting that in your inventory? Just place it somewhere that makes sense. Don't, don't put it in your inventory. Leave it on the counter and the maid will clean it up because I can't play the Sims without a maid. But honestly, it's really annoying that they just throw that stuff in their inventory and then get annoyed because it smells bad. Like quit it, just be normal. The next comment says, the queue canceling all my lined up commands, random Sims interfering in dates, the eyeball ring. Oversized crops not counting for the freelance botanist aspiration and money having no impact once your house is fully built and decorated. This is something I say a lot when I'm playing The Sims. I don't think it's fun once you have money. I like to struggle, I like to suffer, and I like to have big households with very tiny homes. I find that once your Sims get to a certain level of wealth, the game is no longer enjoyable. And I wish that there were ways for you to like spend your money and make it more difficult for you and maybe invest your money if you want to have more money or donate a lot of money. But like there's no real way to make that money meaningful and to do things with it that are fun. But like, there is really no meaning to money once you get past a certain point in the game. Our next comment says, it's petty, but I hate that we don't have light switches and electrical sockets. Even if they were just stickers, it adds realism to the game. I actually think that this would be really funny. Like if you were building a home and you placed these things and then once you like left the build area of the game and went to go buy furniture, it was like, no, you, my friend, are not allowed to place that TV there because there is not a light socket or a electrical socket, not a light socket, to put it in. I think that'd be really, really funny if you were literally constrained to where these plugs are. Because in the game right now, you could put things literally anywhere and they all function. I also think it'd be fun if we have to actually like manually like charge our phones or the digitalistic sketch pad or like the toddler's iPads. Like imagine if you have the little Wabbit tablet for the toddlers and they go to play with it and it's dead. And then they like come yell at their parents and they're like, charge this and you have to go plug it in somewhere. That's so funny. Toddlers would be so annoying if that was a thing. I would love that. Chef's kiss. I love to struggle. Sarah said, seeing Judith Ward everywhere I go. She's a global celebrity who's also a snob. She should be confined to Del Sol Valley, not slumming it with peasants in Willow Creek or any other world. So Willow Creek is like, okay, Judith, you're walking around some random town. Maybe you're on a vacation to some little quaint town because you have so much money that you say things like quaint town. The ones that really bother me are when uh, I once saw her in Batu. The one time that I played with that pack, can't Journey to Batu is just not not the one. I've also seen her in Forgotten Hollow. I've seen her in the Magic Realm. Mm, Judith, you just need to stay home, girl. You have a big, beautiful home. I know you're like probably pretty lonely in that big home, but like, stop coming to all the worlds that just don't make sense for you to be in. Like, if she's in Sulani, I'm like, okay, Judith's on vacation. But anywhere else, I'm like, just stop, quit it, get out of here. Stella said, the Bailey Moon House has only one working bathroom. They're famous. That doesn't mean they stop having bodily functions. This one's really funny because like they have a really, really big house and they live near Judith Ward. So you know they have money and they should have like 80 bathrooms. If you ever are on Zillow and you look up houses that have a ton of rooms, they always have way more bathrooms than bedrooms. And I'm like, that's when you know you've made it. When your bathroom count is like 12 bathrooms, 10 bedrooms, like... Most places are like three bedrooms, one bathroom. And that's, that's, that's normal. But then rich people are like, oh, I have so many bathrooms. So why do the Bailey Moons not have enough functional bathrooms? Like they should each have their own toilet to poop in. But I guess they're just peasants. Our next comment says, not enough deco slots. I feel you on that one. I build a lot and I like to make sure my Sims houses look lived in. And sometimes I want to put more than three items on a table. There's even some shelves that are completely useless without BB.move objects on or the CC tool I use. I imagine I wouldn't be able to build the way I want if I played on console. I 100% feel that. If you don't use something like the OMSP shelf, the red shelf, you can like not really decorate the way you want to. Honestly, CC creators are great for adding a billion decor slots onto everything so you can add as much clutter as you'd like. It's really, really bothersome that some stuff has like one slot and a lot of the shelving units are just like so useless. I think there's one from Island Living where it's got like four empty shelves. It has so much potential, but has no slot. So if you're not using something like the red shelf or move objects or trying to cheat it with like raising and lowering objects, you can't make stuff look good in this game. Our next comment says, going for a swim and then just not changing back. I invite someone over, they go for a swim, then suddenly the rest of it, they're just sitting in bikinis chilling. Sometimes literally. I once had a sim go for a swim indoors in the winter, go outside, sit on a bench while the rest of their family was still swimming at this pool. And then they died from freezing to death because they went outside in a bikini in the winter time. So I feel you on this one. Sims are weird. They're just, they're not very smart. I think that's what we're learning. They're not smart. And it's just like, get your stuff together. 
put some clothes on. The next comment says, when my sim scraps a painting to create a new one without me telling them to. This one's just exceptionally frustrating because you're paying money to make that original painting. And then the Sims are like, no, that hundred smolians you spent, get it out of here. I'm gonna start a new one. And it's like, could you have just finished the last one or waited until the person who started the last one finished it because you're wasting my money. This is even worse if you're playing with barely any money or a really large family who doesn't have a lot of money or you're doing a regs to riches and the Sims are just like, no, I'm gonna sabotage everything. Heather said, when you invite Sims out and they show up to immediately leave. The amount of times in this game where I've been like, hey friend, wanna come to the park with me and then we get to the park and we're like talking and then I like go to the bathroom at the park and then the sim is gone they're just like okay bye I'm leaving I'm out of here it's like really I invited you out to spend time with me you here you were here for 30 sim minutes that is not enough time what do you possibly have to do that is more important than me nothing stop lying our next comment says there is no way to track how many weeks you've been playing with a family in the game like in the sims 3. i would honestly love to be able to see how long we've been playing with certain families especially if you're playing something like 100 baby or challenge where you're going to be with your sims for a long time and you can't really tell how long these sims have been alive how long you're playing with them it, that's actually super interesting i've never really thought about that i would really love to be able to know how many in-game days i've played easily somewhere just like on the ui maybe on the calendar i really wish that we could see something like that really simply I never really thought about that one. Our next comment says, I hate when neighbors bring a fruit cake, eat it, then immediately get uncomfortable. And I'm like, you made this. I do find it kind of funny that like, part of the thing that annoys Sims players so much is the entire welcome wagon system. Obviously having Sims show up at your house is annoying. And then having those Sims bring fruit cake is annoying because half the time your Sims don't like the fruitcake. So it's like, you gave me this thing and I don't even like it. And it makes me uncomfortable when I eat it. But it is pretty funny if the Sim who brought the fruitcake, like if Travis Scott brings you a fruitcake when you move into Willow Creek and then he eats the fruitcake and he gets uncomfortable. Dude, you brought this. You should enjoy it at least if you're gonna give it as a gift. But then I guess the whole thing with fruitcake is that you re-gift it and a lot of people don't enjoy it. So maybe that was his plan all along. Our next comment says, love half walls, but hate that Sims leave dishes and other items on them. This is why I like hardly ever use half walls. I love using them in kitchens and stuff like behind the counters, but the fact that Sims just use them as places to put dirty dishes is so annoying. And like, there's no cute way to decorate a half wall and to like put items on it. I just can't figure out how to do it, how to make it look good. So I'm so sick of Sims leaving dirty dishes on half walls. The next comment says, doing their homework outside during a snowstorm without even considering changing out of their PJs. And this just goes right back to Sims being dumb. Like you're really gonna wake up. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. You haven't done your homework yet. I'm gonna tell you to do your homework. You're gonna leave your bedroom that has a nice desk in it. Not gonna sit on your bed. You're gonna walk down the stairs and go outside to sit on the porch. Like, are you okay? Do you want to die? Do you want to freeze to death? Also, why are you going outside in your pajamas? You're gonna make them dirty and that's icky and I don't like that. And then they have the audacity to get back in their bed. Sims are disgusting. <laughs> The next comment says the way that Sims stand in front of the refrigerator and eat so no other Sims can eat. I've honestly had this happen so much, especially lately where Sims are just like in the way and I'll be like, okay, you get leftovers. I'm gonna stand right in front of the fridge and eat it. And every other Sim that you just told to get leftovers is gonna starve to death. And it's like, just go sit at the table, please. They could just fix that one thing and so many players would be happy. Just go sit at the dining table. Our next comment says, I hate that they walk slower when they have to pee. <laughs> like for God's sakes, run. This one's really funny because uh, personally, anytime that I really have to be, I do this weird thing where I end up like bending over and like trying to hold it so that I don't have to walk slow to the bathroom. And then I wait until like the perfect moment and then I run. <laughs> and it's like a very weird process. But if I really have to be, I can't like waddle or walk over without like almost peeing my pants. It's a thing I've done since I was a child. So I'm not like, it, it's not that weird to me when they walk slow. Cause I'm like, oh, I would have to do that too. <laughs> like, obviously it's annoying, but it's like, it feels real. <laughs> I relate very deeply to this predicament. And the next comment says, parties, people please stay in the main gathering room. Please don't try to sneak up and play video games in the kids room while the party is raging downstairs. This just goes back to like the audacity of other Sims. Cause if you go to another Sims house and you do anything, pretty much anything other than like sit on the couch and talk to them, they'll be like, oh, that's inappropriate, but they can come into your home. I've had Sims use the shower. I've had Sims obviously go on every computer in the house. I'm so glad they added the ability to add computer security settings. And I've had Sims just do the wildest things. Like go play with my kid's dollhouse in their bedroom. That's like two stories up when they're at a party. Like just stop, just stop it. <laughs> Go to the place where you're supposed to be and stay there. Stop being a creep. Our next comment says, one of the newest things that bothers me is when a sim who dislikes something like dancing will autonomously dance when music is on. 
As much as I thought the likes and dislikes system was going to actually do something in the game and actually impact our Sims, it really doesn't do much. And I'm really disappointed. I was hoping it would be good. But yeah, Sims do autonomously do a lot of the things that they say they dislike. And it's like, just why? Why? Why are you doing that? I made it so you don't like dancing. I made it so you don't like cooking. Your husband can cook for you. You don't have to cook. You don't have to dance. Go do something that you enjoy. But no, you're going to go cook dinner and then start dancing. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? They're honestly just so annoying. The next comment says, something that bothers me is when I'm trying to have a family dinner, but all my sins are somewhere eating different. It's so funny how many, I'm just, I added this one as well because it's so many of you commented about how Sims just can't eat where they're supposed to. And I just think that's really funny because it's like, just get your life together, please. The next comment says, when my Sims decide while eating together that they just have to get up and hug before they can start a conversation. Just sit at the table, please. This one's really funny because it's like, really, you can't just talk to each other. Like a new Sim comes into the conversation, you have to get up and hug them. This is exactly why I don't use dine out because Sims are just so ridiculous while they're eating. They get up and they chat over there instead of eating their dinner and they go over there and they talk to this random person. I will never go to dinner with my Sims because I'm like, no, you're annoying. You're annoying me. Stop getting up to talk and to hug and to just be stupid. The next comment says, when you throw a birthday party, you can't select the birthday Sims friends. The birthday Sims should plan the party, but children don't have this option. So if the parents don't know the children's friends, they can't be invited. And I think when planning a party, all of the relationships of the family should be visible in the menu. This is one of the things that really bothers me is the fact that kids can't plan parties and... I really wish that kids could because you want to have a birthday party for your kid as they're going to age up to be a teenager, but you can't invite any of the kids they met at school because their parents haven't met them yet. And it's like, these would be the people who would come to the birthday party. Please fix this. If EA is watching this, please make it possible for kids to plan parties so that I can have actual little house parties and birthday parties for my children, just for the children, and they can invite all of their friends. The next comment's from Lisa and says, for me, a pet peeve is when you have autonomy on full and your sim grabs a glass of water every five seconds. Like, I get that hydration is key, but do you all really have to litter your own house? with empty glasses everywhere and you know where they put them they put them on the fireplace they put them on a random shelf that you don't remember exists and they put them on half walls because they're so annoying and they're everywhere <laughs> i really hope that the sims team like calms down with how much water sims think they need to drink the next comment says i thought picnics were going to be so cute until i found out that they're like family dinners you tell them to sit together and one sim is sitting on a bench a neighborhood away and the other is at a picnic table this is one of those things where we just got our expectations up so high i was really hoping that they would like have a picnic blanket and sit on the floor and not just have it be like eating any other dinner i thought that it would be a lot cuter and i just haven't even used picnics since the pack came out because i'm like i don't care it's not cute enough it's not functional i don't like you Hannah said, when my Sims gain sentiments with people 0.5 seconds after speaking to them, really makes sentiments lose all depth. Honestly, yeah, sometimes you get like a deeper connection from quality time when you've spent like three seconds with a Sim that you just met. And it's like sentiment should be for people you actually care about, not just randos walking up off the street. Like chill out. Sentiment should mean more. There's so many issues with this game and I'm realizing that so much with this video and I probably shouldn't have filmed this one because now I'm like, oh, do I even like The Sims? Mark said, when toddlers gained a bad sentiment with their mom for the smallest reason. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that bugs me the most about this one is that if you're playing on like a short lifespan, the toddlers end up having this sentiment for a long time. And if you're playing on a short lifespan, it could even be until they're like almost a teenager. And it's like, you can't be mad at your mom for something they did when you were a toddler, when you're older. Like just chill out, stop being mad at your mom for something dumb. Like, oh, she tried to give you a bath, you're being defiant. Quit it, stop being stupid. And our final one says, homework books being placed down in strange places and then you can't find them and have to buy a new one. And what about when this happens and you wanna take the kid to the library to do homework and they don't have their book? It is beyond annoying. And why do easel paintings not automatically go into the inventory like digital paintings? It would honestly be really nice if our paintings just went straight into our Sims inventory, but it's okay, it's okay. But honestly, the homework book one really bothers me because I can't find them a lot of the time, especially if you have a bigger house because your Sims kids will just like place them on a random table and you're like looking around everywhere trying to figure out where they put it. Crazy. I remember in like The Sims 2, like kids would come home and just put them on the ground outside of your home and then their homework books would just stack up if you didn't do them. And I thought that was pretty funny. But at least they like had a spot where they would put them every day. But in this game, they're supposed to be in their inventory, but a lot of the time they disappear and you end up spending one simoleon all the time on new books. And it's like, really, stop wasting my money. But there you have it, guys. There are over 50 things that you guys think are annoying or hate about The Sims 4. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment letting me know something that you don't like about The Sims 4. I love reading comments on videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye everybody!